Evaluate 5a squared b squared minus 8ab plus 4a minus 7b minus 190 when a is equal to 5 and b is equal to negative 2. So everywhere we see an a here, we should substitute it with a 5. And everywhere we see a b here, over here, we should substitute it with a negative, with a negative 2. So this is going to be equal to, it's going to be 5 times a squared, but a is now 5. We're evaluating when a is equal to 5. So it's going to be 5 times 5 squared. Instead of a b squared, we want to put negative 2 in the place of b. So negative 2 squared. And then we have minus 8 times a. But instead of an a, we want to put a 5 there. So times 5 times b. b is now negative 2. So times negative 2 plus 4 plus 4 times a. Once again, a is 5. You're not in, I don't want to do that purple color. a is 5 in yellow. a is 5. And then we have minus 7, minus 7 times b. b is negative 2. b is negative 2. And then finally, we have a minus 190. So you see, every time we saw an a, we just substituted the a with 5. So you see an a here. That was right over there. We see an a over there. That goes right over there. Every time we saw a b, b squared, we substituted the b with negative 2. We saw a b, we substituted it with negative 2. We saw a b, substituted it with negative 2. And now we just have to evaluate this expression using order of operations. Expo exponentiation, well, parentheses always come first, but then exponentiation. So this is going to be 5 times 5 squared. So let's just think about this. We're going to do 5 squared first. So 5 squared is 25. Negative 2 squared, that is positive 4. Then you have, well, you don't have to do any more exponents here. So let's just multiply everything. So we're going to have over here 5 times 25 times 4. 25 times 4 is 100. So it's going to be 5 times 100. So this over here is going to simplify to 500. And then over here, we have negative 8 times 5 times negative 2. Negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. Negative 40 times negative 2 will be positive 80. So plus 80. This is going to be positive because we have a negative times a negative. So we have 40 times 2, which is 80. And then we have. And then we have this term, plus 4 times 5. Well, that's just going to be 20. And then we have this term, negative 7 times negative 2 is positive 14. So this over here is positive 14. And then we have to subtract that 190. We have to subtract the 190. And so we have, let's see, this over here, 500 plus 80 is 580, plus 20 is, gets us to 600. So this part is 600 up to that right over there. That is 600. You add 14, you get to 614. And then you have to subtract 190. So we have 614 minus 190. We could do this in our heads. If we were to subtract 200, it would give us to 414. But we're subtracting 10 less, so it would be 424. Let's just actually work it out. 4 minus 0 is 4. 1 minus 9, can't do that. Got to regroup or borrow. We're going to borrow 1 from the 6. And so the 1 becomes an 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. 5 minus 1 is 4. So this is equal to 424.